Good morning, everybody, and happy Tea Tuesday. I am here with, I wish I would have saved the bottle for you, but this is a Starburst orange flavored icy drink. It's the I-C-E, I, I call them icy, and it's five calories for the whole bottle. And it's actually not bad. This carbonated and it's sweet. Um, yeah, I like it. It was the Starburst Orange Cream or something like that. And then they had one that I think was uh, a mango or lemonade. There was two different Starburst ones. So I bought one of each. So it's not too bad, actually, not too bad. So happy Tea Tuesday, everybody. Um, if this is your first time joining into a Tea Tuesday, <clears throat> it is hosted by myself and my sweet friend Kathy from Kathy's Favorite Things. Um, Kathy hasn't posted a whole lot lately because I think she has family here from Chile. So she's been really busy with them and having a great time. And uh, then she did post a couple things. I haven't gone over to watch them yet. I need to, though. But anyways, this is an open collaboration. Anybody's welcome to join in and you can drink whatever you want and do whatever you want. Visit, go over things, whatever you want to do. So, <clears throat> first of all, to let you know, our weather has been fabulous. It was 76 today, yesterday, and Saturday. All three days have been beautiful. And I believe tomorrow is supposed to be 76, and uh, it's my grandson's first baseball game. And so it'll be a great day for that. And then it's supposed to cool back down again. Anyways, I wanted to go over, I haven't done a reading review with you guys in a long time, a book review. Honestly, because I have been in such a slump. So we were reading for <clears throat> um, the book club, Four Spirits. I'm not even going to critique, I'm not even going to tell you what they're about. I just got into this book um, 155 pages and I, I just was over it. I didn't like it. It was depressing. It was just, no, I was, I was not having it. So I put that down. There was another book before that one called The Night Watchman. I did not like that one either. I actually threw that book away. Um, then I picked out a book of my own. I said, that's it. I'm picking out a book of my own. I picked out this Amazing Grace Adams by Fran Littlewood. Stupidest book I ever read. And I was just so mad at myself because I was like, this is my third thumbs down book. And I was seriously like 20 pages from finishing the book, hating it, not looking forward to it. It just went in circles, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth from present time to back to the 70s, to present time, to back to the 80s. It was hard to follow, and it was just dumb. It was just dumb. I don't even, I don't even want to go over it. But it was, Grace Adams was not amazing. She was an idiot. <laughs> so I am sorry, Fran Littlewood, if you, somehow you come upon me reading this book. But this was a complete thumbs down for me. Um, it, I don't know. I give it a one star because, like, she wrote the book, I guess. But... It, it was horrible. And so at the last 20 pages, I said, Patty, why are you forcing yourself to read this if you are not enjoying it? So I put it, I put it down. And then <clears throat> I went to read this one, Maureen by Rachel Joyce. I got into it just a little bit and then realized this is the book three out of a series of like several books, but there's two in front of this one. So I was like, well, oh my God, and I'm not going to read this book until I read the other two. So it's not that this one was a th thumbs down. It's just that I didn't want to read this book without reading the two books before it. So there was another fail. So you know what I said? I said, Danielle, please save me. Please, Danielle, save me. And my good friend, Danielle, you know, she only lives three hours away from me. Danielle saved me. I am reading The Wedding Dress by Danielle Steele. She always gets into her books fast. You get sucked in fast and easy. And it has been a great book. And I'm glad that I just went back to my old faithful Danielle. 
So this is a book that starts out in the 30s and we are now up to the 80s. And this wedding dress was the grandmother's, but back in the 30s, it takes you back to her going to get this dress with her mother. And then her, you know, they go through a lot of the depression and um, some tough times, but she saves this dress. And then she has a daughter and then she has a granddaughter. And um, so I'm not going to tell you if they wear the dress or not. I'm only into, I've got, <clears throat> I'm into this 245 pages. I look forward to going to bed and reading this. I look forward to going on my breaks and my lunch and reading this. Um, yeah, if I wasn't so busy last weekend, I probably would just sat down and read the whole thing. So thank you. Yay, yay, yay to Danielle Steele for a save, a save your book. And I will come back and give you a complete book review on this when I'm done with it because it's worth doing a review on. Okay. Then one of my customers told me <clears throat> that she loved this book, Lady Tan's Circle of Women by Lisa C. Now, I've never read any of Lisa C's books, but I've been told by many, many, many that they're wonderful books. So in the comments below, please let me know if you, one, have read The Wedding Dress, or if you have read any of Lisa C's books, or if you have read this book. I do believe this book is on the top chart list right now. So, um, so I'm gonna give this one a try. And then also this book has been out for a while, a few years. Um, and this was another one that was recommended to me called Educated. And I have been told that it was a super good book that they couldn't put it down. So I'm looking forward to giving it a go. So has anybody read Educated? If you have, let me know. Okay, <clears throat> one more thing I wanted to share with you. Where did it go? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, sorry. I got a new book today. It is a Valentine book, but that's okay. It is by Just Indie, which I'm loving her books. It's called My Valentine Garden. She has so many wonderful books. But I bought this one. <clears throat> I just got it in the mail today. You guys, I did go on to Timu, and I've looked for color books on Timu before, and they've never had any. And I typed in adult color books today on Timu, and they are starting to get a pretty good assortment of them. So if you shop Timu, check it out, because they don't have as many as Amazon, but they do have quite a few. But I just wanted to give you a quick um, flip through of this adorable book. I just can't wait to get started in. And even though it's considered Valentine's, and this is something I would do all, all year long. <clears throat> I mean, how sweet is she? And they look like they're pretty fast pages to do. They're not gonna take a, a whole long time. So I'm really looking forward to coloring in this book. I think I'm gonna do this one right now after I get off this video. Or maybe that one. Oh my gosh, there's just so many adorbs. So I just wanted you guys to see, look at how adorable that one is. Oh, so cute. And this book is not a full size book. It's like, I don't know, <clears throat> 10 by 10 maybe. Aren't they so sweet? They're all single sided, which is almost a must for me. And there's some more of her books. So, yeah. All right, you guys, have a great day and the rest of your week. It's so hard for me to get up in the morning because it's still dark when I get up, but uh, that's going to change really soon. 
So I hope you guys have a great Tuesday and I shall talk to you all later.